Hey guys, it's Omar here, and uh, today we're going to be doing an Arduino Morse code uh, light switch. And uh, the way this is going to work is we're going to have a text going in to the serial monitor, and once we enter a string of dots and dashes, uh, we're going to look at those dots and dashes and make the pin 13 turn on and off uh, with different lengths based on whether it's a dot or dash. So uh, to get started, we're going to go here and we're going to open Arduino, create a new sketch with the new button. If you don't have the Arduino IDE, just go to arduino.cc or Moodle, and you should be able to find the download link. And uh, so pretty much how we want to start, we want to have this serial monitor, uh, whenever we put in text, we're going to look at the dots and dashes in the text, and we're going to play... Uh, those dots and dashes. We're going to read the dots and dashes and uh, figure out how long we're going to keep pin 13's light on. So if we have a dash, the light is going to be on for let's say 700 milliseconds. If we have a dot, it's going to last for um, uh, maybe 200 milliseconds, whatever. Okay, so the first thing you want to do when you make an Arduino sketch is if you're ever going to use a pin, you want to define that pin uh, or create a variable so that you kind of are consistent with the pin you're using. So let's create an integer uh, int light pin equals 13. Pin 13 is the pin we're going to be uh, outputting light from. Okay, uh, and since we're going to be using the serial monitor over here, let me just open that up so you get an idea of what we're doing. Serial monitor. Let's just go to the right port. Yeah, so you pretty much just put in dots and dashes, whatever, and uh, the Arduino would read that. So when you use the serial library, which is by default included in every Arduino sketch, uh, you want to begin the serial process with the function serial.begin. The only argument is a baud rate, which you can see over here, uh, and it's kind of like it, it defines the way the text is being sent. So the standard is 9600. You can do whatever you want. 9600 is best. And uh, whenever we create a pin that's going to be an output uh, or even an input, we want to have uh, it set to an output or input. So the first argument in the pin mode function is the number of the pin. So light pin here, which is 13. And uh, we either set it as output or input, all caps. So over here it's going to be output since we're going to be having electricity run uh, out from it. Uh, and just to make sure, we want to make sure that it's it's going to be off the moment the Arduino turns on. So digital, you know, this might not be true, you might not have to do this, but just make sure the light pin is off with this function, digital write. The first argument is the pin number, the second argument is uh, boolean, low or high, true or false low means that it's going to be off. Okay. So what we want to do is whenever we have input coming in to the serial monitor, let's say I put in the dash and I click enter, uh, we want to check uh, whether there has been text put in or not. And this loop happens uh, is, is called on over and over again. So at the top we're going to have a conditional and to check whether we have input coming in to the, the serial buffer, uh, we're going to do serial available this returns uh, serial dot available. This returns a boolean value, true or false, whether there is text uh, that is pending to be read. Uh, and so there. Now we know that there's text uh, that, that, that that's coming into the Arduino if we reach uh, after this f. So um, what we want to do, we want to cr uh, create a string that's equal to that input. So string input is equal to serial dot read string. And that's the function you use to get a string from the serial buffer. Okay, so we know we have input. What if we have uh, dots and dashes, but also maybe by mistake we have a number or there are spaces between them? We want to make sure we extract that so that uh, we're more consistent with the way we uh, treat our text. So let's say, uh, let's create a function that takes this string, the input, and removes anything that we don't want. It only gives us, it spits back just dots and dashes. So this function is going to return a string. This is C++, so you'd have the return, uh, the return type on the left. Uh, let's call the function filter morse. 
and its argument is going to be string is going to be a string and we're going to call that string input okay we'll use this later we'll get back to the loop once we finish this function okay so what we're going to do we're going to iterate through every single character in the string in this input string which could be for example uh, dot dash dot six what we want to do is want, we want to iterate through every single one is it a dot is it a dash put it append it to a new string and uh, if it's not a dot or dash we just ignore it we leave it out so to iterate through every single character we can use a for loop for int i equals zero, i is just going to be our incrementer here. Uh, i is going to be less than the length of the input string, so you would just access through the length method. So input dot length less than input dot length. Don't forget the semicolons; it's not commas. I make that mistake all the time. And increment that i. There we go. Okay. So now we have an index that increases every time we go through. Uh, the characters of the input string so we can create a character variable let's call it char c set it equal to input at index of i so it's kind of like an array uh, now that we have the c the char the character we want to test whether it's a, a dash or a dot so let's create a conditional if c is equal to uh, we want to have single quotes here because it's a character, not a string. If C is equal to a dash or, these pipes signify or, if C is equal to a dash or C is equal to a dot, then what we're going to do is take that character and we are going to append it to a string that we're going to return. So let's go back at the beginning of the function and uh, let's create a variable, string variable. Let's call that output. Uh, that's a string. Um, and we're just going to add this character to output uh, as if it was an integer. You can pretty much just add it like it was a number. So output plus equals C. This plus equals appends C to output. Okay. And uh, at the end of the function, once we have output, um, that's a group of all of the characters that are dashes and dots, we want to return that variable. So return output. And there. So now let's create a string. That's a filtered version of input. We know it's morse. So string morse is equal to filter morse our function that we just made. Our argument is input. Okay. Morse is equal to the filtered uh, input. Okay, now what we want to do, the pretty much the final thing, is taking this morse, which is dots and dashes, analyzing every single character, and turning on pin 13, the LED, uh, for a certain amount of time. So if it's a dash, uh, naturally you'd have a longer uh, delay you'd have the light on for a longer amount of time. If it's a dot, you'd have it for a shorter amount of time. So let's create a function that uh, takes this Morse text and uh, creates a side effect by turning on the light and turning it off. So void, since it's has, it has no return value, void um, uh, show Morse, let's call it. You can call it whatever you want. Uh, and it has a ver uh, an argument of type string. Let's call that string morse okay um, oh yeah one useful thing if you ever feel like your indentations just don't look right like you have this bracket off to the side even though it shouldn't be you can do control tab or command tab Arduino the ID will fix everything for you it'll look a lot cleaner okay so now we have the string input uh, this morse and we want to iterate through every character so let's create a for loop for int i which is the index equals zero i is less than morse dot length make sure length is a method not a property because that's how it is in this library um, and i plus plus if you don't know about for loops you can just go to arduino.cc and look at some of the documentation or just read about c++, plus plus in general it's a very basic uh, thing Okay, so for loop, we're going to go through every character. 
So let's create a character for every index. Uh, char c is equal to Morse at index i. Okay, and uh, every time for every character we're going to be turning the light on. So let's just do digital, right? Which is the thing you use to turn a pin on or off. Uh, digital right light pin. You could also do 13, but light pin is more consistent. Sorry, light pin. And uh, the second argument is going to be high or low. We're turning it on, so it's high. Close that off. Okay. So now we want to test whether C is a dot or a dash. And the thing that differentiates between them, the thing that we're going to uh, look at is whether if it's a dash, we're going to have the light on for a longer amount of time. There's a function called delay, which takes a number of milliseconds. So if you have 1,000 milliseconds, it'll wait, it'll pause the system for, uh, for one second if we have 1,000 milliseconds. So let's create a conditional if uh, c is equal to single quotes dash then let's delay, let's wait delay, for approximately 700 milliseconds I've, t I've, t I've tested this and that's a good amount of time else if it's not a dash it's a dot for sure um, let's delay for uh, 250 milliseconds. Okay. And then after this delay, whether it's a dot or a dash, we're always going to turn the light back off for the next character. So we're going to go digital right. Uh, the first argument is the pin number. Light pin is our pin number. And low. Uh, and then we also want to delay a little bit so that you can differentiate between all the different dots and dashes that the light shows. So let's delay for about 200 milliseconds. Okay, and uh, that's the show Morse function. So let's add that onto the loop. Once we have our string of Morse characters, we're gonna send that to the show Morse method and it's gonna react to it. So show Morse Morse. Okay, so going back, highlighting everything, we created a variable, an integer, that is the pin number. We called it light pin. We set up the serial, which is uh, kind of like the thing that contains all text that's being inputted in this text box. Uh, and then we make sure that the light pin is an output, since it's a display, uh, since it has light. Uh, and then our loop, for our loop, we're going to check if there is uh, text coming into the serial buffer and then we're going to create a string called input which is the string that's coming into serial we're going to create uh, a string called morse which is a filtered version of input with the filter morse function which iterates through every character in the input string tests whether we have a dash or a dot and if it is then it'll return uh, it'll add uh, that dash or dot to output which is then returned and morse is equal to that string of da dots and dashes uh, and then we show the morse by looking at whether it's a dash or a dot if it's a dash we keep the light on for a longer amount of time dot shorter amount of time and then we turn the light back off and it goes over and over again in our for loop and we should just be able to hit verify and compiling sketch you want to make sure that when you put it onto your arduino you want to make sure that uh, you have the right Arduino board. In this case, I have an Arduino 200, 2560, uh, so I have that selected. You also want to make sure, usually the port is correct, but uh, you might want to make sure that you have the right USB modem uh, port selected. If you're not sure, just try every single one until you don't get an error message. And then you hit Upload, Compiling Sketch, Uploading. It's a very simple sketch. And uh, yeah, so let's go over here input this text and I can assure you that it is playing that sequence of Morse. Thank you and see you next time for another Arduino tutorial. Bye.